Health officials are calling it the most severe outbreak of COVID-19 in Merced County. It's at the Foster Farms plant in Livingston. As of Saturday, 392 employees have tested positive for COVID-19. Eight have died. Tonight, on the eve of the processing plant's forced closure, CBS 47's Kirsten Mitchell spoke with former employees who say this could have been prevented. They don't care. It's sad to say, but they don't. Melinda Shavira worked for Foster Farms in Southern California for 15 years. She was laid off last year, but still kept in touch with her former colleagues, especially when COVID-19 hit the Livingston Processing Plant, infecting at least 392 employees and killing eight, including her friend Mike, who she says managed truck drivers there. Can you describe him for people who didn't get a chance to meet him? What was he like? And he's just always cracking jokes, talking about his family. He loved his family, his wife and his two boys. The outbreak so severe, the Merced County Department of Public Health ordered the processing plant temporarily shut down starting Tuesday night. During the six-day closure, Foster Farm says all employees will get paid. They're expected to complete two rounds of deep cleaning and two rounds of mass employee testing. Failure to do so could mean a longer closure. I was a little emotional because that could have been, you know, me. Zakaya Jenkins worked there for about a month after she was recruited by a hiring agency in July. She said she was never informed about any positive cases, despite the health department officially declaring an outbreak on June 29th. So you had no idea there was an outbreak? No idea. Would that have impacted your decision? Absolutely. There was no social distancing. Everyone was kind of lined up right behind each other. They tried to have shields um, in front of people, but no one kind of obeyed those rules to keep the shields in front of us. So she quit, but understands others who provide for their families may not, as the virus continues to disproportionately impact essential workers, especially people of color. Foster Farms said in a statement, Foster Farms, like all poultry producers, face the near insurmountable challenge of continuing to bring its products to the family table while protecting our employees. While we recognize that our efforts have not been sufficiently successful, this has not been an effort nor motivated by financial gain. Reporting in Livingston, Kirsten Mitchell, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.